Is how much something costs a reliable indicator of its value? Do super expensive brand name drugs treat your symptoms better than the generic alternatives do? I enjoy opportunities to test many high-end firearms, but it's also important to me to test and review guns that cost much less and are more accessible to more people. The Gerson MC28SA is one such pistol. It's inexpensive compared to the big brand names, but it has similar features in ergonomics. It is a standard 9mm duty-sized handgun that holds 15 rounds in the magazine, has a polymer frame, and is striker-fired, just like hundreds of others. Okay, the Gerson MC28SA from EAA. Uh, let's take a look at what's in the box. I have not opened this box since I brought it home, so this is exactly the unboxing experience for those of you who just want to know, how does it come? What do I get with it? So right up top we see the instruction manual, a gun lock, a golf tee. <laughs> it is a solid steel golf tee, so obviously it's a punch tool of some sort. Okay, and then we see, of course, the pistol and a couple of accessories for the pistol. One 15-round magazine is what we get with the pistol. We also have a couple of alternate back straps, I'll call it, but it's also side, so sort of a the grip extension. Um, so you can modify the size to suit you. So it looks like we've got a small, medium, and large option, and I'm almost certain that that's what that metal golf tee, <laughs> this guy right here, is for, is to punch out the, drive out the little punch to replace these. All right, so there you go. That is what the gun looks like in the box. It's pretty no frills. The big questions for me were, is it reliable? Is it well made? How well does it function? And can I shoot it well? When I'm looking at a bargain import gun, I don't expect perfection or fine quality materials, and I don't expect as many extras. What I want to know is, if this were the one pistol that someone could afford to buy to serve their needs for both recreation and defense, can I recommend it? All right, let's see how it does out at the range. This is the only 15 round magazine that it comes with, unfortunately, but at least it is a 15 round magazine. These would be my first shots. Let's see how it does 10 yards down range on my orange dot. And I'm using a center hold. It's got a good three dot uh, sight picture, nothing special, but certainly effective. They are not night sights. It feels good in the hand. It's a good sized gun. Trigger feels nice. Really, I'm not noticing it much at all, so that's a good thing. Yeah. This is not a bad gun. Not a bad gun at all. Certainly, uh, certainly worth looking at from a budget perspective. Uh, the grip is uh, pretty slick, actually. It's pretty smooth. Not a lot of texture. Even where there's texture, there's really not a lot of texture. So I will have to find out if Talon has this one in their, uh, 
in their lineup. Definitely put a talon on this bad boy. That would help a whole lot. But uh, the magazine, I said, you know, I've harped on it a bunch. It comes with one. Hey, you know, when you buy budget, you get budget. Uh, so I'm not complaining. I'm just informing. Gerson firearms are Turkish made and imported to the U.S. by EAA. My experience with the brand is that they are greatly inspired by other well-known designs, but they're well-made in an economical way. And while they don't always have the same feel as the more expensive models, I have found them to be tough and durable and very reliable. In that respect, the MC-28 is no exception. The polymer frame is a bit plasticky, but that's to be expected at this price. The included size options for the grip are a good touch and they do add value for the buyer. The MC-28 has a good feel in the hand, which shouldn't be a big surprise as it does remind me very much of the first generation M&P in overall shape and size. The sights are just a good blue collar three dot Novak style that are easy to pick up and easy to hold on target. It does seem to like a center hold. All right, I'm gonna pick up the pace just a little bit. That usually opens my group up. Depending on the gun, it may open it up a lot. Now, not too bad. I have a tendency to dive low and or low left when I shoot a little bit faster but that's not so bad. The trigger is good quality, and while it does have some long travel and a bit of creep in it, it has a light, crisp break and a tactile reset. I wasn't thinking about the trigger at all while shooting, which is maybe the best compliment I can pay. I measured the trigger pull at a consistent six pounds. With the current ammo situation, it's just not possible to put 400 rounds through a gun to review it or to shoot groups with the name brand defensive ammo. But I've shot enough guns in my life to trust my instincts, and I like the feel of this one. I had zero problems of any kind, and I think I could have shot another thousand rounds without any. And most importantly, I shot the gun well. The ergonomics, sights, and trigger all work together to let you focus on your fundamentals, not think about elements of the firearm. Of course, you know I have to test these slide stop slide release to make sure it is a proper slide release, and it is. Okay, Target Medic fixed up the uh, misses a little bit. The, uh, I'm noticing a little bit of irritation on my thumb, my forward thumb, on the takedown lever, so I just kind of have to loosen it a little bit. It's a shooter. The Gerson MC-28SA is a good quality, low-cost handgun. And if you hadn't noticed or heard me comment or seen me post on social media, I'm trying to improve my quality with pro-level gear and software, and there's a learning curve to that. So thanks for bearing with me through the occasional glitch or the slowed output. I hope that it results in a better viewing experience for you down the road. Thanks to the Patreon supporters who help make it possible to use that pro gear. In return, patrons get access to almost every video early, 
and exclusive access to Patreon-only content and behind-the-scenes type stuff. Too bad. If you didn't hate this video, you can hit the I didn't hate it button, which looks like a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And if you don't subscribe, do that too. Be safe, have fun, and I'll see you next time.